Hi guys, so I had just popped out um, a new moon reading, but I did it on my phone and it says it's going to take a few hours to download, so I figured I'll just pop out another reading, okay? So, let's see what's going on, okay? Spirit guides, ancestors, oracles of the highest white light, please give me a guided, clear, precise channel message as to what my collective needs to know, see, feel, and hear for this beautiful day. For this new moon, alright? This is the second reading I'm doing, but the other one's going to upload it's just let's see what's going on for this late night too okay you have a message coming in passion somebody's letting go of a thought process a miserly a codependency always take it as it resonates okay put yourself where you belong i could be saying he it could be a she it could be saying they it could be you thank you so we have the Ten of Wands. There's a lot of burdens here because there's a lack of self-love. Somebody is spying, lying, manipulating on a situation. It's making them, somebody feel inadequate, like they can't come in with this offer um, because of these lies with the Seven of Swords. Somebody is taking the self-love because they are definitely have a lot of passion. They're coming in with the truth. The truth is a hard pill to swallow sometimes. But somebody is definitely feeling left out in the cold and is dwelling too much on the past. And this is why they chose to start a new beginning because they knew somebody had no strength, okay? Um, there's no perseverance here. Somebody is weak. And it's this Queen of Wands in reverse and the Emperor in reverse, okay? It could be a father figure, a boss. It could be uh, these two people are having no choice but to stop fighting or bickering, okay? Because there's a lack of messages or downloads coming in. There's something that's wrong here. This woman or male, take it as it resonates, is trying to keep this emperor in the dark. But there's a tower here. These people are having no choice but to end whatever burdens they're facing because somebody is broken and it's because of a lack of self-love. Somebody is definitely being enlightened during this new moon and Scorpio, uh, Sagittarius, excuse me, because somebody is wish fulfillment. So they want to take a new leap of faith, but it's got somebody up in their head. It's the Queen of Swords with the Knight of Swords. Somebody is pissed off and it might be even um, abusive physically emotionally mentally take it as it resonates but it's because somebody is using the, their intuition with the high priestess and letting go of all the burdens and betrayals of the past they're no longer burdened okay so whatever this queen of wands emperor in reverse whatever this partnership there's no equilibrium and somebody knows that things are never going to be the same and that's just the way it is so they want to come and uh, start something new with a new beginning because there's the king of pentacles. It's like somebody lost out on all kinds of money and somebody's sitting as the empress. So they feel like they don't have enough. So they're not coming in with the cup of love because... The fact that somebody is single and self-sufficient has somebody very much up in their head, okay? They're, somebody likes very needy, codependent people. and uh, They're mediocre. They're choosing to not work at something, not put the work in. I don't know, but whatever it is, it's keeping them very trapped and blinded and in a toxic there's a wheel of fortune here. There's a lot of good luck, but somebody is, has a lot of options and they think because somebody has a lot of options that they are out of the loop or something. I don't know if with this queen of wands, this marriage material kind of person, somebody is choosing not to heal with this queen of wands, okay? And it might be, they might be hypnotized. So they're staying away. And choosing to not move to calmer waters because of some kind of family issue and third parties. These third parties are causing somebody to feel very trapped. Have no strength and stay in the emperor in reverse. Somebody is with somebody for sex or money or something and they're mad at somebody. They're mad at a queen of cups because somebody has a lot of love. A lot of compassion. And is reclaiming back their power. Somebody is in spiritual poverty. And this is the ending of the cycle. 
the magician, somebody manifested this life for themselves, okay? Both in the upright and in the reverse, guys. Now, there's no passion. There's no drive. There's no inspiration. Somebody just doesn't, uh, doesn't know what to do. There's no compassion. There needs to be walk. You need to walk away, okay? This whole new moon energy is really talking about standing your ground. Lighting that fucking bitch up with your authenticity. Somebody has a choice but refuse to do the healing. And now is going into hermit mode, okay? So that they can really recal recalibrate their future. It's that player card, yo. Somebody's going through judgment for being a player. Anymore. And they're up in their head. They can't get any sleep. They're re they're restless because of this marriage or somebody being at a higher level commitment or the fact that somebody's a public speaker. Some a lot of people look up to them. There's a narcissistic energy. Somebody's pissed off because they're the fucking defeated. And somebody's getting caught in the red tape. The injustice that was done onto this empress. The four of wands. Yeah, there's no instability. Somebody is in a situation where they're unstable. They're refusing to look at themselves in the situation. Somebody's a two of cups. They see somebody as a muse and wants to come in because they see somebody as victory. They see somebody winning. They see some. They want to make a new leap of faith, okay? But somebody is imbalanced. The destination that they seek, they're not going to get to it. They need to stand in their leader-like quality, okay? Somebody is waiting on something to come in. But there's a lot, of a lot of balancing that needs to happen. Because somebody's a star. Somebody's a healer. Somebody is famous. Take it as it resonates. The Knight of Pentacles talks about a slow-moving process, okay? Because of this codependency, somebody's taking their time and it's causing them a lot of heartbreak because they want to be with this with this earth angel. It's a fight between the good and evil, okay? Somebody doesn't have patience. It's somebody from your past, they have a lot of nostalgic energy and they want to go towards the light now. They want to blind people with their light because they're in depression with the sun in reverse. Whatever's in the dark comes to light, guys. You can't hide shit. There's a Ten of Pentacles definitely coming in, but somebody is has to put down their guards. Everything is not okay. They're pretending everything is okay, but it's not. It's because of some kind of lack of investment when it came to the gift. Okay, somebody sees... You know, the Ace of Pentacles doesn't have to be a tangible, like, money. It could be an actual person, you know, and somebody's feeling in a lot of regret because they're not able... To you know, the download, they're not able to cuddle, yo. Look, they're in a lot of regret because they missed out on the opportunity to cuddle. They're in hermit, though. They're spying on this computer, watching somebody. And they're having a lot of emotional issues internally because of the choices they made to maybe work with somebody, okay? Maybe that's that queen of wands, the naked bitch, okay? Who's clearly a copycat doppelganger. They juggled something, okay? Now they're waiting on something. They need to really stand up in their power and know their worth. Because at the end of the day, somebody's got the strength to persevere, okay? So it's about really conquering your own inner demons and showing the world what you're really made of and not what they expect of you, the empress. Everything she touches turns to gold, guys. Mind, body, and soul. Somebody sees this empress is in love. This empress is getting blessings on blessings on blessings. Why? Because she's the fucking goat. And it's got people pressed. It's got these narcs all caught up and pressed because their mind games are being back for you because you're helping a lot of people. Now, they need to stop these mind games, okay? This Taurus, you could be a Taurus. It's a lot of controlling issues, okay? That king, that uh, emperor in reverse is fucking extremely controlling. The Capricorn, it's the devil, the codependencies, the toxicities. That's what's got somebody very envious, bitter, and jealous because somebody's just chilling with confidence and in the sun, basking in their truth. And people are really trying to work against you, but yo, whatever's meant to be is gonna be, yo. It is what it is. They really tried to end your love life. But the death and rebirth is there, yo. You're getting the transformation here in this beautiful new moon. Somebody's having a breaking point. 
it's these karmics, yo. Your payoff is coming, and the karmic payoff is coming too. Because judgment is there, yo. These spiritual burps won't stop. Death and rebirth. This is non-stop truth. I'm speaking. Libra, the justice. Hierophant, there's a higher level commitment. You deserve to know. You have a right to know that someone's got trust issues and tried to kill you. Wow. It's a transformation. I'm not going to put that on nobody, all right? You got the strength to persevere either way because you got an emperor coming in to protect you. They're being guided because you got a pure heart. So nobody can touch you once this person's around because you're going to be safe. Okay? Anybody can play anything they want, plan anything, but... This is a death and rebirth, okay, in this new moon. Look. Death and rebirth. Guess who's back? Oh, for sure. Gemini. Okay, it's the twins. Curiosity, intelligence, and networking. Somebody's got to use their intelligence and start networking, okay? Somebody's an ascended master, okay? These, this emperor and empress, they're protected, they're teachers, they're guides, they're gods. No! <laughs> but people are going to be envious of this. Somebody needs to do well because some, do well by somebody because they're an ascended master. Now, because of the fact of your power, somebody's trying to use sex magic on you, okay? To siphon all your energy. Yo, it's this bum you chose over a boss, yo. You gotta be careful of the company you keep, yo, because they're trying to fucking siphon all your money. You need to break up with this bum if you're in some kind of relationship. It's not good, yo. They're fucking, they're hating on you. Well, whatever. They're hating on this divine masculine, yo. Like I said, love conquers all. It's time to be mature. The tower of truth is coming in to everybody who fucking put any lies on anybody. Somebody's taking the lead, yo. There's a 911 call. And there's a lot of delays. Somebody is panicking because of these delays because there's a transformation. I think it's that, uh... Yeah, the scandals are coming out about that fucking Jezebel. It doesn't have to be a promiscuous energy. It doesn't have to be a whore. But at the end of the day, it's time to be happy. It could just be somebody who's jealous of you, yo. They hate it, like I said. Because the love offer is coming in either way to this new moon. During this new moon. Somebody's in your head, in their head, and they're getting downloads about you, yo. That people are in a lot of self-hate, and they want to spin the block for you because you're high vibrational, yo. And whatever is meant to be is gonna fucking be. Somebody's holding on for dear fucking life, but they lost you because of third parties and breadcrumbing. You got freedom. You're a mother. Can you are their peace, but they choose to be a player and fuck with your pure heart. Now you got upgrades, so the ancestors are watching you. It's time to rest, okay? Somebody is going through hell when it comes to these emotions, but you are powerful and you can get through anything. So shine. Blind motherfuckers with your light. Somebody from your past life is coming in, right? <sighs> Somebody's on freeze and they're feeling foolish because of these drugs and this money. Whatever energy is sent towards you is being sent back, yo. These scandals and sexual energy is sent, being sent back, okay? There's an undercover brother here or sister, so pay attention and be careful. And blind them with the fucking truth. Somebody's not single, yo, but they want to be up in your space? Make it make sense. Time to be solo dolo, yo. Because these STDs are no fucking joke, okay? Strap it up. Wrap it up. <laughs> Time to for forgiveness, okay? Time for healing. Time to heal these bad advice because, yo, people are just giving you sexually transmitted diseases or demons. Something happened in the spring and everybody's seeing the fucking truth for what it is, yo. It is what it is. You got the bag. And these bad friends, see, you're having victory because you're self-love. You're grounded. And there's a lot of heartbreak because of your... Because the secrets are coming out. Someone did pay attention to signs and synchronicities and sees you as their soulmate in the summertime. Somebody got catfished. 
okay? You need to stay away from this catfish energy, okay? Because somebody is catfishing a fucking wife because they're jealous. Because uh, they want to, yeah, somebody pretended like they were a fucking twin flame. They were the wife. They were everything. And at the end of the day, they were just fucking a hoe. It is what it is. Guys, they probably said that somebody else was a hoe. Somebody's looking at your fucking photos, yo. It's time to make a wish. They know. They're looking at your photos. They're making a wish. They're trying, probably doing some sex magic. They're seeing, I don't know, your beautiful heart. Yo, people are, people are shady. Somebody tried to set you up the whole fucking time, though, so stay away. Somebody's learning a karmic lesson. This is why you need to let them go through their lesson, right? Universe, let's get some advice. What's going on here, all right? Cancer. It's time for nurture, comfort, and protection. It's time to protect yourself, yo. It's time to protect the ones you love. Like, really. <sighs> Fifth house, okay? Passion, play, and children. Confidence and creativity. And Mercury. It's time to think, learn, network, and communicate, all right, guys? You really got this, but you're going to have to really go inwards in this new moon and take the rest. Recuperation and stop living for everybody else. Because that's going to make you really fucking upset in 5, 10, 15, 20 years down the line. You realize everybody else is living their life and you're still in the same fucking mess. Why? Because you're living for everybody else. Getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves with each other, your bond deepens. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive and playfulness. To uh, capture the romance, allow your inner beautiful spirit to shine. Engagement, okay? Your love life is ascending to a higher level. Commitment. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. It's time to flirt, okay? Extend your lighthearted energy to others. Remember, you're only alone because you want to be. Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. But there's codependency. Addictions are affecting your love life. Ancestors, let's get some advice. What's some advice for this reading, for this new moon reading, okay? Somebody needs to really stay away. Okay? From this Jezebel energy or this controlling energy. Hunter of path. It's time for you to hunt on your path, okay? Dancer of reconciliation. That's the second time that fucking card came out. Dancer of new beginnings. Dan the companion. And purification. Yeah, you're gonna have to purify yourself from all this fucking drug abuse or anything if you want this companion and start a new beginning. You're gonna get the reconciliation, but you gotta do the work and follow your path, okay? Because at the heart of the deck, the advice is it's time to sh to sh birth a new beginning, yo, and get out the of the illusions and go towards your fucking abundance, death and transformation, and see the vision. Okay. Let's get uh Okay, so there's a lot of anxiety. Someone's having anxiety, okay, because they don't feel supported. But they're magic. They're the fucking unicorn. Shift your focus to a positive view. You are interconnectedly. We are all interconnected, linked to a magical thread. Believe that in yourself. You are magic. All right. So, you're on a double mission, guys. It says, light worker, star seed, serving the world by being you. You just gotta be you. You don't gotta be anything else other than you. Stop playing. Jump in. Um, Armageddon energy, adventure. Say yes to change. And baby steps. Action. Follow your intuition. Follow your intuition before before it makes sense, okay? Follow your intuition. It's not gonna make sense, but... I promise you, there's definitely an upgrade here. Spirit guides, ancestors, oracles, let's get a message, okay? From the Rebel Oracle deck. It says, release the dark wounds and let love live. It's time to let go. It's time to let love live, guys. Go against the grain. Go against what people want for you. Every journey starts with a single step. Okay? Every journey starts with a single step, and at the heart of the deck, what you want, wants you. Oh my god, it's almost kind of like the same reading that I just did. <laughs> so funny. Okay, high priestess of light, wings of light. Okay, you're a clay. You're uh, becoming something new. 
So take that leap of faith, okay? And remember, every step, every journey starts with a single step, okay? So let's get the last closing message from the St. Francis Oracle deck. Spirit guide back. Okay, that was fast. Number 16. Yo, 16 reduced down to a 7. It's all about protection, okay? But you're going to have to take off that mask that you're wearing. 16. Under the mask. Confidence in putting the past behind you. Through experience of the past, your confidence is growing. You are no longer feel the need to hide behind others. At last, you see and accept things that think, accept that you are a wonderful individual in your own right. You are looking for challenges which will inspire you and drive you. There is no time to waste it as you are ready for action. Tears of sadness are now long gone. Those difficult experiences have a huge learning opportunity, but have learned, uh, were a huge learning opportunity to have learned difficult lessons and realize that they have made you who you are today. You may feel you have a way to go before you feel fully confident, but you are on the right path and getting there. Take life one day at a time, and each day that passes, you will move closer to your goals. Remember, every journey starts with one single step. I love you guys. I hope this resonated. I hope it helped you. Have a good night, okay, guys? Bye.